YouTube, the season's over. We got to improve it. Off season, draft, all the moves we can make. And when we're doing this, we got to think, what's our biggest weakness right now? D-line, our secondary, no abilities on defense. We got some good players, but no superstars. No big splash, big names that are going to make plays. So we got to do that in off season. Definitely looking to beef up the trenches. Definitely looking to add some studs to the secondary. The draft, I had the 24th pick. This is the actual draft that's going to happen in a couple of weeks here, I guess. The NFL draft, the real one. So all the players you guys should know and be familiar with, that's one of the best parts about this. Who can I add for my team that your NFL team is going to add this summer in the NFL draft? By the way, let me know who your NFL teams are. Check in now before the draft starts and you guys start claiming a bunch of teams like the Cowboys fans do. Make sure you guys check in. Who is your team? Who do you want them to draft? Because I'm going to have to draft some people from this thing to improve the Minnesota Vikings so we don't get first rounded again. We can move on in the NFC playoffs because ultimately that's the goal. So let's see how this draft works out. I don't even know where to start with the offseason right now. And I'll be honest, I feel like these are dub free agencies right here. Dub free agent pickups. Not crazy. Not no wild ass, you know, T.O. to the team or anything. But solid pieces that are going to help my team. All right. Now, before we get into this, we got to talk about direction for the Vikings in the offseason. All right. We got the 24th pick. That's not that valuable. What do we need? Some would say everything. Some would say nothing. We need pass rush. Interesting you say pass rush. What if I told you I've been offered an edge threat double or nothing for our boy Muth? What if I told you that? Now, if you guys have missed it, Fire Muth did get the superstar. He does have two abilities. He is now ability person, Fire Muth. He is a fan favorite. I don't know if we can trade him. It's Zadarius Smith. Viking legend is Zadarius Smith. He is like 30 years old. He, he fills a huge need for our team. Muth is leading jersey sales. He really is. But let me show you the four free agents that I signed. All right, boys. Now, these aren't sexy names. They're not sexy. They're not amazing. But I added Armani Hooker safety. Now, you would say he's not good. He's not good. But he's a lot better than what the hell I had. Not fast. But for the two-man under deep zone, 26 years old. Look over here, man. He's got a viewer card. He's not good. We had 86 speed guys already. To get somebody with the 88 zone, somehow he's negative five zone. I don't know how that worked. He was 93 zone. To back there instead of Gregory Jr., instead of all the sh that I had that let the ball. Now, maybe 90 zone won't mean that much, but I feel like he'll play better. I needed some secondary. All right, now this is what I'm really excited. Now, I thought about this. I thought, man, we can really, we got the 24th pick, not a great pick, but we can, you know, and all the wide receivers and the DBs are going to be gone, right? So I was thinking maybe I can get a lineman. Maybe I can do that, right? Get, a, get the best offensive lineman. But I was able to pick up this Eric McCoy guy, star development, 27 years old. I mean, 85 pass block, 87 strength, 83 overall player, you know? just to shore up the offensive line to center position. And I also grabbed Dalton Reisner. Also don't know who the hell this is either, but he was an 80 overall lineman, 29 years old. Not the oldest, not the youngest, but to get my, my interior line. So now we're gonna have two secures. We're gonna have Reisner at guard. We'll have McCoy at center and we still have Hunt to play the other guard. And then we grabbed Jalen Rager. Some would say this is a project. Some would say this is a reclamation project of Jalen Rager's career. You know, some would say that he's been a bust. Some would say he sucks. But at the end of the day, he was faster than every other receiver I had other than Quez. He's still semi-young. Our boy Will Fuller lost the point of speed. My biggest deal in free agency here, boys, my biggest deal, I wanted to make sure that I didn't need anything, boys. And I feel by adding our boy Rager, I don't need anything. Because I can run Rager, Tim Patrick, Muth, and Quez. I still have all my picks. I mean, 93 speed Rager, I don't think is that bad, that amazing. Fire Muth just got abilities. He's 25 years old, 91 overall, 6 foot 5. Are we trading Fire Muth? I don't think we trade Muth. All right, all right. I'm going to look at the draft. You guys can help me now. I have the 24th pick, so 
All right, now keep this in mind, boys. I'm able to superstar one player that's over 80. So obviously, I think that would be Sneeder Dean, probably Dean, because he's like just a goat. And I will be able to superstar two people under 80, so 79 and under. So they might be my two rookies, whatever rookies I pick. It could be Rager. We could make Rager an absolute stud. That would be a crazy storyline, my free agent Rager. I don't know. That'd be a good storyline, but we'll see how the draft goes. Let me tell you guys right now, this is the actual draft. So all my draft nerds in here that know the players and know everything, I'm going to need help. I'm going to need some, all that good stuff. Eric McCoy, and he gets upgrade. Let's go, man. I feel like uh, 84 overall center is a dub to pick up. I really do. I'm sorry, boys. I feel like even though I had secures, my O-line was still kind of getting railed, especially in the middle. And it I feel like that was a good move to pick that up. Like if, if I'm going to put that much effort into secure protectors, why would I not get, you know, decent guards and, and, and centers? Draft fast safety, scum. That's a great idea. I don't think anybody else will have that idea, scum. Scum, would you like to help me in the Discord? Fast safeties? You think that's what I should get? Anybody else has any input tonight? Anybody, any more input from the chat before I get, before I just, you know, get started here. Fast people. Okay. Next. All right. Let's look at the draft. What do we want to get at 24, the 24th pick? Do we agree that we would be okay going into the season with our offense right now? Mixon, Muth, Quez Watkins, Jalen Rager, and Tim Patrick. Is that a good enough offense? I will tell you guys my priority in the draft. A pass rusher, corners, and then a wide receiver. I will take best available though. If there is a stud guard or tackle or somebody in there, I will pick that guy. Swear to God, I will. I don't think I lost the game because my my offensive players weren't good enough. Was it hard to play? Hell yeah, it was hard as sh but I feel like I can make the right plays, boys. I don't know. I felt like my I sucked. My defensive players sucked. I know that. All right, let's take a look at the prospects, though. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Jalen Carter, Will Anderson, Bryce Young. Obviously, the quarterbacks won't go unless, like, somebody's computer drafting. So I don't think the quarterbacks count here. I hope the quarterbacks get picked, you know. Now, let's run through the wide receivers already. I don't really want to trade my pick. I want to pick somebody and build them like we did with Dotson, you know. Are there any, I see, I don't really even know how these, why, I don't know how realistic it is that these guys will match what they are in real life. Now you gotta understand, great speed, 4-4 four, four is the 12th wide receiver. So I don't think he's gonna be that fast, boys. I really don't. As much as he's fast in, in real life, I don't know if he's gonna be that fast. I found one guy that I thought was fast. I don't really know how to go like my players that I, I don't know, that I put on favorites. Who else do you got? Quinnen? This guy was even worse. 42nd wide receiver, Quentin Johnson on speed. There's no way I picked that guy. Bro, it's not the same. The draft class has been edited to an extent, I think. I really don't know. 22nd wide receiver. Man, I'm not worried about the ops, bro. They're not good at the game. I will have options to go to with my pick. Great speed here. 446. Zay Flowers is not fast. Those are the guys I went to first. Like. Josh Downs is another one I thought would be fast. No, 13th, 40-yard dash. Here, this guy. Trey Palmer, second in wide receiver dash, 4.24. He's the only guy I found that was fast. But he's potential undrafted. He'll get picked in the first 10 picks because all these guys do this. It's not, it's not like there's no skill to this. I did wide receivers. Let's do corners. I didn't really look at their speed on corners. Obviously, with the 24th pick, I'm not getting God Gonzalez and Joey Porter. These are going to be top 10 picks. Devin Witherspoon. Like, these are top 10 picks, dude. We're not getting these guys, you know? Although, apparently, he did not participate in anything. He has great speed. We're not getting Devin. We're not. Christian Gonzalez. Great speed. He's the fifth fastest cornerback. This might be the first pick in the draft, honestly. It might be top five in speed in corners. He's tall, 6'1". He might be the first pick. This guy right here, good speed, Joey Porter, won't be a high. We might be able to get him. I just feel like he's not that fast. I feel like him being that slow, like mid-speed, not ideal. Oh, we got with the draft already popped off. Will Anderson just went. Joey Porter Jr. went. I mean, we could really just look at the draft board, essentially. Yeah, Gonzalez looks like he went. Hyatt got drafted already. Nolan Smith just went. Cam Smith, cornerback. Who's that guy? Michael Meyer, tight end. You know, I really don't, you know. Trey Palmer. That's the wide receiver we were going to pick, I think, wasn't it? 
How do you know? All right, well, give me a superstar then, G, B, G. Bilson. Who's a superstar? And whisper me who I should pick that's a superstar, dude. Since you know this sh Jackson Smith. All right, who'd this guy just pick? Jalen Carter. There goes Jalen Carter off the board. Yo, what position is that last guy you whispered? Hey, G, G. Blisson, what's that last guy you whispered me? I don't know what position that guy is. Okay, all right, I see. What about Jackson Smith and Jigba? Is he ass? All right, DJ Turner, that's our fast guy that we wanted to pick. He's gone. Deontay Banks is gone. I don't know if I trust this G. Bilson guy. He's giving me crazy comms here in the whispers, boys. Trey Dean, 6'3". Do we trust this guy? Oh, Trey Dean is second fastest strong safety. Trust him? Will, what what sub was he again? What what badge number? Can somebody go check with my man Jay Bilson? He just said, I'm Garrett Wilson. I play for the Jets. Okay. All right. What if it's really Garrett Wilson? What if it who knows? Who it could really be him? I doubt that Garrett Wilson would know anything about CFMs, though. That's where like that's what he said. He said, I'm hit you on Twitter. I do this franchise. All right, all right, Paris Johnson, left tackle. Devin Witherspoon, off the clock to the Atlanta Falcons. I have the 24, we're getting there fast. Broderick Jones, left tackle, okay. All right, hold up. It really is Garrett Wilson. What the f All right, Garrett Wilson, there's just no way. What a turn of, a turn of events. G. Bilson is really Garrett Wilson, and he knows. All right, so what do I pick? All right, we're just, I mean, we gotta listen to Garrett Wilson. I mean, what are we doing? OH. You know, I can't lie. I, 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 I have a, I have a hard belief that a real NFL player knows more than you nerds. I'm just being honest. I understand how much you nerds know spreadsheets and stuff, but so for me, for Garrett Wilson to know more than you guys, I, I just, I, it's, I have a hard time believing that. He said, pick Jalen Carter and Kaylee Ringo who aren't here anymore. Okay, well, I'm not gonna tell you the other people he told me though. We got some options available though. The draft class is edited, though, so I don't know how much we can listen. Peter Skoronsky just got picked. There's two players that are on the board that he likes. There's two players that he says are good picks. Now, I don't know who... I don't know... Now, listen, Gary, you got to... When it, with a, we're, we're three picks away here. And honestly, I, 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 I'm putting all my faith in, in an NFL wide receiver that he knows more than the Twitch chat. Like, how, I don't know if this is possible or not. I... I Part of me says this is a bad move as a Madden player. He definitely told me to pick Jackson Smith and Jigba too. His teammate. Now I'm starting to put two and two together. This is his teammate. He's telling me to pick him. Jordan Addison just went. All right, we got the next pick, boys. Jalen Jones, cornerback. All right, it's our pick. We are on the clock. Let's go. Hey, Gary Wilson, what do we got? What do we got? Make my selection. Jackson Smith and Jigba. I'm going to smoke this pick so bad right now. Dude's asking Garrett Wilson if he has Twitch. All right, he told me Eli Ricks was a good pick. He told me Eli Ricks is a good pick, and he told me this guy, Jordan Battle, is a good pick. Those are the two picks he told me. And Jackson Smith and Jigba, those are his three options that are still available. Paris Johnson is gone. Battle? We like Battle. The chat is, the chat is on board with this Battle guy? I mean, well, you were too late now. Like, now I'm panicking. Dog, oh my God. All this Battle talk. Jackson Smith and Jigba. OH. Hidden development trait. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hidden development trait. Let's go. Big dubs. 92 speed. Okay. That's not that's not slow. 92 is not slow. He can we can work with that. Let's go, man. Let's go. I was afraid he'd be 88. I'd be afraid he'd be 88. Now, will Jalen Rager get benched now for Jackson Smith and Jigba? I don't know. Or do I bench Tim Patrick? My GM is, he is, I mean, I wouldn't say Garrett Wilson is our GM. I think he's more about, He. I think he's a consultant, you know? I can't lie. Garrett Wilson's really clutch right now. We have seven possible picks already laid out for us. Players I never heard of. Clutch. I mean, we have options at running back, left guard. He put a kicker in there with 99 kick pass. Bro, he knows. He knows. We have been, I feel like we've been in the second round longer than the first round. There goes Lucas Van Ness as we wanted. 
All right, we're four picks away, boys. Jamie Robinson, free safety. We are two picks away, boys. We got three options at DB, so I think one of them will be here. He picked a guard, so... All right, boys, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Uh, we picked Jack... Oh, our pick, we're on the board. All right, here we go, boys. Bryce Young just went. All right, we can get this guy named... We can get corner or safety. Eli Ricks, battle, or what you gonna call it? Ricks or battle, what do we think, boys? Are these options here? He said battle gets abilities. Uh, I gotta tr I gotta trust. I gotta trust. I gotta trust Garrett Wilson. I have to. Come on, man. Hidden development. 91 speed. 91 speed. We are lords. We are lords. We might have the best draft ever. Oh, Kansi just went, boys. Two picks. Now, like, what do we do for D-line, though? Like, what do we get for D-line right now? Christopher, you can't pick the wrong button right now. You can't pick the wrong button. This is important. Andre Carter, Zach Harrison, Tulupu, Riley Moss. Oh. Yeah? Riley Moss? Uh. Yeah? <laughs> this is who you want? <laughs> this is it? This is him? <laughs> Why is this so funny? It's a white corner. <laughs> He's white like daddy. He's fast though. Man, he's got hair. It's our pick. It's our pick. It's our pick. Who do we pick? Moss? Riley Moss, this guy? <laughs> yeah. This is the guy? <laughs> we picked him. 92 speed, normal development, 58 strength. He's an L. I mean, he's a white corner. He's got one eye black. Dude, is this not the greatest guy there is? Number 40? Is this not the definition of a white corner? Like, what are we doing? Like, what are we not doing with this guy here? You know? We picked a white corner. Why? Because he's his name is Riley Moss. It's the only thing we have. He's great. Is he good? Strength, 58? His strength, he's a corner. Why did he, all right, take take him to take him to bed. Oh my gosh. Did, did you co-sign on this? No, oh my god. Did you co-sign on this? <sighs> I can't lie, our boy uh Garrett Wilson told me. He told me this guy is a glitch. He told me this guy is an absolute glitch. 91 speed. Alright, he capped. Alright. He's two for three. He's two for three. He's two for three. He told me this guy was 96 speed. I mean, God damn. He's two for three. That's pretty good, dude. That I mean, he's got to, uh, we got to listen to him. Like, there you go right there. Like, look, like we got to listen. If you, if you hit two three pointers, you got to give him the ball back for the third. You have to. That's how it works, boys. Wide receiver mentorship. A veteran wants to improve the team. Coach, did you see Jackson Smith and Jigba out there this week? Start calling him Isaiah Jr. Because me and that dude are cut from the same cloth. And I think he could learn a lot from me. Is there any specific area you want him to improve in? Faking out tacklers? Catching in traffic? How about getting open? How about that? What do we think, boys? I feel like we go getting open. Isaiah f***ing McKenzie. Yeah. Getting open. You can tell an experienced receiver right away by how sharp he is on his routes. Could you give him some help on footwork? How he angles his hips at the point of contact. Sure thing, coach. Any specific type of route? Long routes, mother. It'd be silly not to use Smith and Jigba's athleticism to our advantage. Damn, this is going fast. So I'd like to see you improve his deep route running. And if you show how the tricks beating man coverage, don't hesitate. You got it, coach. Shouldn't be too complicated. You haven't fucking played. How do you? All right. I'll show him a few techniques to beat the press. And he and I are going to start drilling some deep routes. Shrieks, posts, any type of thing like that. Let's go release okay that's bro we need to release the way they be pressing the hell out of people out here let's go w deep route running w bro i think he has 90 deep route running already did you send it already move bro i need i need to get red zone threat i think i get it right now actually i think i get red zone threat right now let's go man oh yeah time to teabag yes sir trade updated Third round pick for Michael and Baba. Accept offer. All right. I mean, this is pretty easy now. We're going to take William Jackson. 
We're going to move him to safety. We're going to superstar and age reduce both Michael O and Greg Jr. Pretty easy here, boys. All right, and then I can do, what else can I do? Two stars. I can star development. No, I'm superstar and Dean. Dean's getting superstar. I don't get three. I only get 180 overall plus. So that's going to be Dean. And then my guy, everybody else has to be under 80. The two other guys I have, the other 80. No, well, Pat Pete is a mentor. So he he you need an old guy to make your person. Battle has to be, I have to play 500 snaps with him. Same thing with uh Jackson Smith. We can star Moss. And who else do we star, boys? Who are my two linemen I signed in free agency? This guy, Reisner. I think he already is a damn star. Yep. No, I like battle. I like, I mean, battle is kind of like... I just signed the hooker for like money, dude. I thought he'd be good, but I guess he don't play now. Battle one, battle and what and Jackson are my safeties. McKinney, McKinney and Hooker just don't play, dude. Shit's tough, huh? Slow zone guys just don't play. I thought they'd be good. All right, I can't lie, man. It's been a W off season for the boys. It really has. This has been a crazy W off season. It really has. We have transformed. I listen. We transformed the, the worst team in the league to a solid team here in the offseason. In the last two years, we transformed the team with no goddamn abilities into we're getting there. All right? And you got to understand, I'm a, I'm a year behind. All these guys have way better teams. They're not bad players that I'm going to just flood and get superstar games on them. And shit, you know? Sneed will get superstar next year. Yeah, Sneed will get superstar next year. So we'll have two. St we'll have, if it works the right way. We'll have four stud corners, you know? Yeah, Garrett Wilson carried the chat, actually. I can't lie, the team the team is on the up and up right around. Games can probably start right now. Like I said, I got to play Saint, who literally just won the Super Bowl. So he's the best player in the league. So that's game one. So we'll definitely get a test of how well our team went. Let's look at our schedule for the year, boys. Giants, Cardinals, Cerebral, Rams, Titans, who is the underrated king. Mexi Bron, Titans, Packers, Trick Slimy Worm, who was just in the AFC Championship game. My Jags, my Bears, Packers, Patriots, who was just in the playoffs. Okay, I mean, we got a couple tough games. You know, starting with this one's probably the hardest game of the year. All right, boys, there it is. The draft got it done. Love some of the picks. Big help from the Offensive Player of the Year, Garrett Wilson. One of the best receivers in the NFL already. And, of course, an Ohio State Buckeye. Like our, our boy, Jackson Smith and Jigba, who's going to carry the Vikings deep into the playoffs. Let's take a look at the team and what we improved. A draft recap. We went around. We also were able to add one superstar of an 80 overall and one superstar of under 80 overall or two superstars under 80 overall so we'll check out what i did with the team and what i did going forward how we're developed right now and how we're looking going into the season one season two of the viking cfm this is actually the third season this this cfm is around i was only here for the first or the last two seasons so here we go like I said, we got Jackson Smith and Jigba. He's going to take Will Fuller's spot. As you see, Will Fuller lost the point of speed. Now, I signed Jalen Rager thinking he might take Will Fuller's spot just for the memes. But being able to pick up Jackson Smith and Jigba is going to be huge for our team, boys. Going to be definitely a, a piece that we need. And hopefully he gets that hidden development, becomes a superstar, and he's going to break out to 90 overall by the time the playoffs roll around for sure. We're still going to rock Tim Patrick. Uh, I don't know if he'll ever have a breakout and have abilities, but he's pretty decent. I mean, 6'4", 94 speed, he can get some things done. And obviously, Quez, that 97 speed, you can't really replicate that. Our boy, fire move with the abilities in the offseason. He is now a superstar. Still 83 speed, still kind of slow, but those abilities will definitely help him out for sure. Obviously, the O-line, we beefed it up by adding Eric McCoy in free agency. Uh, 84 overall center, man. Pass blocking already in the mid-80s. This guy is going to help us. I know we got the secures. We worked all last year to get the secures. But now we added Eric McCoy in the middle of that offensive line to beef it up even more. Help Kyler Murray back there. Defensively, we weren't able to really add too much in the draft as far as you know a stud defensive player. We went more secondary and obviously the wide receiver with Jackson Smith and Jigba. But we're going to rock, obviously, Derek Brown, John Franklin Myers, also known as JFK. 
He's at 85 overall now. I mean, this is a guy that, I mean, I would love to get a breakout game for him because you see all his ratings are really good. Mid to, mid to high 80s, decent speed. Not decent speed. He's got 79 speed, which makes him look kind of whack. But he's a good player. And, of course, we got our boy Dotson is our other pass rusher. Young Dotson, 23 years old. He is a superstar, 85 speed. We got him all the way up to what now? 84 finesse move. Maybe we can get that around 90 by the time the playoffs kick around. We'll see. We'll see. And the biggest difference in the team this year is the secondary superstar Jamil Dean. He's probably, honestly, probably the best corner in the game. I don't know which one could be better with the height. Maybe Tariq Woolen. But, I mean, if he has these superstar abilities, which he should. But, I mean, 96 speed, 6'1". This guy's an absolute dog now. Uh, and then we got our boy Michael O. And we got Greg Jr. Guys aren't great yet, but they're superstars. Look how young they are, 21 and 20. Decent speed, six one and six foot. If I can get these guys to you know around 80, 85 overall by the time the playoffs hit to match with Snead and Dean, that is a lethal secondary. And we're able to put William Jackson as safety now. We're going to use her Brandon Stevens and Riley Moss, the new Moss in Minnesota. So those will be my two linebackers. I mean, obviously not the best, but when they're manned up on the running back or they're in a hard flat or they're in a deep blue or they're in user, they'll be all right. And our other safety is the rookie, Jordan Battle. We did sign a Monty Hooker, but there's just so many people I picked up in the secondary between Battle, Moss, and our boy um, Michael O. We were able to pick up so many players that, you know, I signed Hooker just to be a zone deep safety. And, you know, now I don't even think he's going to play. So the team has definitely looked different. If you guys look back at this team, if you look back at it uh, over the year, dude, we definitely made this team better. This team can compete. Now, next year in the offseason, when I'm able to buy another superstar and get abilities on Sneed and Dean, that team will be comp. One more year of cooking this team, it will be super comp, and we'll be ready to go. And honestly, I think I'm going to like CFM for the mere fact that you can't put four and five abilities on one player. You know, these guys get two abilities only, so choose wisely. So... We're going to see how it works out. My team is slowly creeping up into just as good as everybody else's. We're still behind, but we got it done. Great offseason. Let me know what you think. Were my moves W's or L's, boys? 